What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Definitely helps me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Links are down in the description. I always follow back. And yeah, other than that, we are back with a Monday reaction. Um, finally hopping into Dreamcatcher, um, which is a group that I've been wanting to get into for a while. Um, and a group that other people have been asking me to get into. Um, I really... I really don't know Dreamcatcher that well. Like, I don't know the members whatsoever. Like, I'm just starting this fresh. Like, I I do know two of their songs. Um, only because I randomly found them on, like, a K-pop playlist. Um, so I know Maison and I know Boca. Actually, Boca, I actually listened to during a Twitch live. Um, I think somebody... I want to say it was a melody that recommended Boca to me. Um, so we actually watched it together on a Twitch live. Um, but those are literally the only two songs that I know. I know nothing about the group. I know nothing about the member. I don't even know how many members there are. So I'm interested to check them out. Um, uh, but everyone tells me that, like, I would probably enjoy their music and their vibes. Um, and I honestly don't really check out girl groups that much on my channel so I thought it'd be fun to do something different um because it's not like it's not that I don't listen to girl groups but I don't know how to explain it like some some girl groups are a bit like their vocals are a bit too like high-pitched and like whiny for me to like enjoy I don't know if that makes sense but so like some girl groups I find hard to listen to but um it doesn't mean I don't listen to them period like I do have quite a few girl group songs like on my playlist but um this is my first time like actually like diving deep into a girl group so I'm excited um I took some recommendations, um, so hopefully they're good recommendations. I mean, I assume they are, but I'm excited to hop into it. Um, we're gonna start off with, um, we're gonna start off with And There Was No One Left. Um, there's a special clip, thankfully, with captions, so hopefully, like, I can read the lyrics, um, and it'll be fine. And then we're gonna hop into scream music video um and then also i found the dance video like the studio version so i'm gonna watch that because if you guys don't know i'm i really love dance i used to dance when i was younger so it's something that i'm like something that i still really love and am passionate about so i really love like diving into the choreo and stuff of groups so i really love watching like dance practices or like studio versions and then we're gonna hop into Don't Light My Fire. Um, I had the lyric video for that. And then we're gonna end it with um, Bon Voyage. The music video, the dance video. Um, and then I saw that they have an It's Live performance and I love It's Live performances. Um, so I thought I would definitely check that, that out as well. So anyways let's hop into it I'm excited like I said I know none of the members so like please don't come for me whenever I'm like this person that person like I'll try my best to get to know them as quickly as I can I always appreciate comments that kind of like that kind of go through like each member and like little tidbits about them and stuff like that I love reading those so if you guys want to like give me like the down low on who's who and like who they are in the group and stuff like that. I would absolutely love that. I will definitely read it. Um, but yeah, okay. 
let's hop into and there was no one left <laughs> So there's seven of them. I think I'm losing my way. Maybe I'm getting the mate. I should always run yaggy. <laughs> so, <laughs> those girl's facial expressions are the best. I love it. The camera, the camera work is also really interesting. Like how they like zoom in on their faces and stuff. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but <laughs> this one just gives me like such bad bitch vibes. It's <laughs> just the vibe that she gives off. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> I think this one, the short hair one, I think she has a really interesting vocal tone. I don't know what it is about it, but I think I think her vocal tone like really stands out. It seems like unique. Interesting. That's an interesting intro to like <laughs> actually like seeing them. Like the songs that I know, like I've literally actually never even like really seen what the members look like. So that was a really good intro. Um, yeah, I don't. I think the blonde and the short haired one probably stood out to me the most. I think when it, in like terms of singing, but they all sound really good. I think the song itself, probably not something I would listen to all the time, but it, it was really nice to listen to. Like, I don't know. How, I don't know how to describe it. I, I just have more of like, I just have more of like, uh, I think for like more like upbeat, fun songs. So I have to be in like certain moods to like listen to like slower, slower beats and stuff. Um, but I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not something that I would listen to like on the daily. You know what I mean? Um, I do listen to Boca a lot though. Boca's, I'm, honestly, I think Boca is like one of my favorites. It's a really good song. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to say about the lyrics. I think the lyrics are, I think that lyrics were interesting. I don't, I feel like, I feel feel like the lyrics didn't match with the title of the song but maybe I just like wasn't paying attention well enough I was kind of like <laughs> kind of like looking at each member but 
Um, let's hop into Scream. This one I'm like really interested to see what it's going to be about. <clears throat> it says, one day suddenly the light did not come. People forgot how to say good things. Oh. Okay, I love when they have the lyrics with the members' names. G-U. Is it like G-U or G-U? Yu Hyun. Sua. Sion? Gayon? I like the beat. I like the beat a lot. I like this a lot already. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm really loving. Do is it Dami? Dami? I'm really loving her. I don't know why, but she just gives off this like vibe that I'm just like, I don't know, that I'm here for. Um, I really like, I really like Yuhyeon. Is that her name? But I think Suwa and. It's the one that starts with the G. I think they're really good too. I I can see why like people wanted me to get into them because this this song is more my vibe for sure. I'm getting I was getting the feeling in the beginning that the song was about like the song was about like bullying or like people tearing you down um or trying to feel you make trying to make you feel less than and kind of how to overcome that and how to find your inner strength to just be like, I'm, I'm better than those comments. I don't know. That's like what, that's like what I was taking from the song, but <clears throat> I'd be interested to know what like everyone else thinks.
I like that song a lot. <laughs> the song is definitely more my vibes. Um, I think, I think it was a lot, I don't know. I don't know, I would, like, love to hear, like, everyone's, like, thoughts on the song because I thought the song was pretty deep in my opinion. I, I think, like, I don't know, I just... Yeah, I, I got the vibe that, like, they were going from, like, I don't want to be the one to scream because of it all. I want to make somebody else scream. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, like they want to turn the tables, you know what I mean? Oh, how the turntables. I was going to say, okay, so someone was missing. I was going to say, I thought there was only six of them. I was confused. Um, Han Handong was missing. Okay. See, this is why you got to read comments. You can gather more information. <laughs> I like, yeah. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely like this song a lot. Honestly, this might, this might top Boca for me. <laughs> yeah, I would love, I would love to hear what you guys like think of the song and like the lyrics and stuff. Okay, let's watch um the dance video version. Firstly, can I say that, like, I love their outfits. <laughs> I honestly love their vibes. Like, I like, e like, literally every single member, like, I just really love their vibes. Like, each time the camera pans to them, like, I just, I feel like every single member, like, commands, like, your attention every time the camera's on them. And I, like, really enjoy that. Um, but I also love that they have a dancer here that has a mask on to kind of place um, the member that's missing. Just to, like, keep things cohesive and, like, this member is supposed to be here and we're not taking away from that. But since she's not here, like, we're just going to have a little, like, placement here. Um, which is super interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I really enjoy their, like, performance performance vibes a lot. Even though this is literally just, like, a dance video for, like, a studio version and not, like a live performance on stage or something like yeah I really I, I can just imagine like if they're this good in a studio version then I'm sure like watching them live is like a totally like awesome experience you know what I mean okay <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I just feel like I just feel like this girl is so good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> like she's not bad at singing like she's a good rapper she's a good dancer like like Dami is that how you say her name like she just seems like such an all-rounder like that's just what I get from her I don't know I, just wanna make you scream. I like I like her vibes a lot too <sighs> is this Sion Mm, I can't remember. I like her vibes a lot too, and I like her dancing a lot too. And I'm like, honestly, I'm usually pretty good at picking out who the main dancers are. I don't know. They're all, they're all pretty good dancers, but I think, I think Dami, Dami stands out the most to me. This one, gosh, I can't remember if this is Sion. Purple hair. The purple haired girl stands out to me. I, I definitely, I, usually I can pick out who the main dancer is, but Dreamcatcher is hard. They're all really good. Like, seriously. Man, I, I like that song a lot. That's definitely going to be on like my, my top. <laughs> My top of the list for Dreamcatcher for sure. I know I literally have like two other songs to listen to, but I'm going to, it's going to take me a while to remember like the names and the faces, but I'm going to try to get there. This like seeing the color coded lyrics like actually helps me because I can like put a name to the face. Okay. Don't light my fire. <laughs> Sorry, that just started out with such Halloween vibes. Now we're going into rock, okay. I also just want to say I didn't realize that this was a Japanese song, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. A very high possibility that this might get blocked just because of, like, Japan copyright and all that stuff. Um, so, sincerely apologize if that happens. Um, 
whenever that ha does happen, I just always put the full version on my Patreon. Um, so if you guys really want, you can go watch there, but you know, hopefully maybe there'll be like a possibility that this song doesn't get blocked, but we'll see. I like the rock beat a lot. Excuse me. Oh my god. I like the rock beat a lot, but also I'm like rock, punk rock, like pop punk. Like those are like my favorite genres. So understandably so. But um I feel like I feel like a lot of Dreamcatcher songs like actually has like really really deep and important messages you know like Maison of course has like a really important message um I think Scream had a really important message I think this song has an important message too like I, I feel like a lot of the stuff they th that they sing about is like inner strength and like finding your inner strength and um I don't know how to I don't know how to say it like I don't know how to say it I also I also find it interesting that there's like a lot of like a lot of like talking about good and evil like in Scream they were talking about like demon eyes and then in this song they were talking about judgment from God I don't know if that's like a recurring theme in their music or if I just happened to listen to like these songs in order and like that's just how it happened very curious because I don't know um uh, but I find that I find that interesting but yeah I feel like I feel like the songs that I've listened to so far like they seem to have like some type of good meaning to take from it you know what I mean I don't know curious to know curious to know what you guys think I do think, um, I do think some of the lyrics are a bit awkward, but maybe that's just, like, the translations. I like this line a lot. I won't be stained by anyone's color. Yeah, I like that line a lot. I don't know why. Like, I feel like sometimes that's unavoidable. Like, there's always going to people be people in our lives that, like, change our outlook or, like, change our behaviors just because of, like things that we have dealt with by them with them you know so I feel like that's I feel like that's kind of hard to avoid but I do like the idea of like not being stained by anyone's color and like keeping true to your character and who you are as a person I think you can still develop and grow yourself like without letting that happen you know what I mean like it's it's honestly up to us like how much we allow another person to like affect us and you know um and things like that I don't know if that makes sense but I don't know that line that line in particular just really stood out to me I'm going to decide everything yeah I don't know I would love I would love to 
hear what you guys have to say about the song because I, th I think the lyrics were really interesting and maybe some of it I didn't understand because of the translations, but I'd be super, super curious to know what you guys thought. Okay, let's hop into the last song. Let's hop into Bon Voyage. Um, this one is like the more recent song that they've come out with compared to the other ones that I just listened to. Um, this one just came out like eight months ago. So curious to like, curious to get into this one. Okay, let's watch the music video. The intro is giving me such anime vibes. <laughs> <laughs> the horse. I love it. that one a lot too oh sorry that was, I feel like that was a weird noise um I think Scream and Bon Voyage are like definitely <laughs> definitely my favorite oh I wish that I like I just I apologize that I don't know the members I wish I knew them more but um I'm sorry <laughs> I try my best I really do oh uh, the one with the blue hair the one with the blue hair stood out to me the most I can't remember who that was though that's Yu Hyun, right man
Okay, that's GU then. Yeah, that's you. Okay, that's Yuhan. Yeah, I think Yuhan is, but like vocally, she stands out to me. I want to know. I want to know. I can't remember who the blue-haired one was. Sion, was that Sion? Vocally, she stands out to me. I don't know. I'm. I'm telling you, like, I'm. I'm gonna learn them. I promise. Eventually, I will learn them because I vi I vibe with their music a lot. Like every single song I really liked that I listened to. Um. I think and there was no one left probably at the end of the totem pole for me, but not, not because it was bad, just because it's not the type of song that I listen to on a regular basis, you know what I mean? Like, vocally, it was a really good song, though. Okay, let's watch the dance video. Let's watch the dance video. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I really like um Yoo Hyun with short hair. It looks good on her. Okay, and this one, who did I say blue hair was? Sion? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, a Sion, I think. I'm, I'm gonna try my best. It's hard, especially, especially with each comeback, like they change their hair and everything. So then I'm like, well, hold up a second. <laughs> Yeah, this is Dommy, right? This is Dommy, right? way that Sion comes out at this part for me that's like so good I don't there's just something about Dami. I just love her. I hope I'm saying her name right. <laughs> I want to figure out, I want to figure out which one's Sua. 13. Okay, so she was the dark haired one. I think she was the one that stood out to me too with dancing. Her, right? This is Sua? She was the one that stood out to me with dancing too, right?
because I have like a coughing fit. <laughs> uh, I like the dance a lot too. I think, I think the part where like it goes, it's like towards the end and the chorus comes back in again and it like speeds up, it gets like faster. I think the choreo there is like really, really interesting. I don't know why, but I don't know if you guys know what part I'm talking about, but it's, yeah, where it like, it gets sped up because it's like that final like oomph before the song ends. I don't know. I find the choreo really interesting at that part. Okay, let's hop into um, the It's Live version because I love It's Live because firstly, I love that there's a live band. That's like always a plus to me and I also really love the vocal quality the mic quality um for its live performances I like it's a top tier okay sorry I want to make sure captions were on Okay, let me, like, take this opportunity to try to figure out who's who. Dami. I know Dami. Yuhyeon, right? Yuhyeon. Siyeon. I think this one's Sua. Center is Jiu, right? I think Center is Jiu. Now I'm just confused between Ga... Gahyeon and Han Dong. Excuse me, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I think this one's Han Dong, and I think this one's Gahyeon. Am I saying her name right? Jesus. <clears throat> Gahyeon. I think. I don't know if I'm right on that, but I'm. I'm trying my best to learn who is who. <laughs> oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Cute. <laughs>
I don't know, just hearing it with the band is just a totally different vibe. <clears throat> I don't know, see on man. I knew they were going to be like good singing live, but I can just imagine, like, how it would be, like, seeing them in concert, but it'd be so good. <laughs> I don't know yeah I just I just feel like I wasn't expecting whenever they were talking about the song I wasn't expecting them to say that it was about like humans and nature I I found that really interesting. It's not what I was expecting the song to be about, but again, like I do, I do think a lot of their songs have like an important message to it. Yeah, I don't know. I just like there's definitely like some members that stood out to me really like a lot, but I think they all sound like really really good. Like they all sound like really good vocalists. They're all good dancers too, like um, honestly, surprised I haven't gotten into Dream Qu Dream Catcher sooner <laughs> because I love the vibes of their music. Like, I love, like, rockish songs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm, like, starting to learn the members. I tried my best. Um, I hate when I, like, I'm like, this one, this one, <laughs> and I don't know their names, but, um, I'll continue to try my best to learn who's who. I hope you guys enjoyed my like first reaction to Dreamcatcher. Um, again, I would love to like get some comments from you guys about the members, like little tidbits about like their character, their personalities, um, and things like that. I would absolutely love that. All right, guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys.